So just another quick video about virtual DJ turn 23 and a small enhancement about what's done to the pitch reset function in one of the later version started with build 7746. So you probably know pitch reset very well. That's the thing that triggers when you click this triangle here, the arrow, if you will, the point toward the pitch here, right? So if I play a track, break down back the pitch, you click this, it gradually brings back the pitch to zero, right? And if you double click it, it'll jump to it. So that's the general pitch reset on this thing. And it's also probably the pitch reset that's mapped to your controller, if it's mapped to your controller. Uh, but you can, of course, also do that using the script behind it. So if I try opening a custom button here, put in pitch reset. So this thing down here. Uh, then actually this thing over here is 1%. So if I put in here 1%, it'll be the same. So let's put in something else instead. So 10% maybe. And we can do the same thing. Now it'll just go much, much faster. So about 10 times faster than before, right? So very fast. Or we could do 0.1%. So make it much, much slower. So like this. So we can see that's a long way in that tempo. Double click again, bring it back. So that was the old or regular one. Then there's also another one that's been there for a long time. That is to use, uh, you see down here in the description, that's to use uh, seconds or milliseconds instead. So if I put in a thousand milliseconds, then we should do the gradual, the gradual uh, increase or decrease or whatever back to zero in exactly one second. So let's try that. Something like that. So that was if you use milliseconds. But the new feature is that you can also use beats. So let's try that instead. That might be uh, more 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 musical to do uh, when you're actually mixing. So I can put in like maybe four beats. And then let's try counting it in and see if it's doing something close to four beats. It'll be calculating it uh, based on, on the current speed. And of course, that'll change when while it's doing it, but it'll be pretty close to exact. So let's, let's see what it does. Oh. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. So that was four beats, right? So uh, let's try to eight beats. And maybe move it in the other direction. So like this. One, two, three, So very close to exact. If you go higher than that, like, like 16, 32 beats or something like that, then it'll start to uh, to waver a little bit because it's calculating it when you trigger it. And it'll, of course, go out of sync eventually because it's actually changing the, uh, the pitch while doing it. But for these smaller uh, settings like four beat, eight beats, it's pretty close to exact, and you might want to prefer you may prefer that uh, when you map this manually, like on a controller or whatever keyboard key, uh, because it's more musical that you can actually do this pitch reset in time when you use beats. So that's just a small enhancement to the pitch reset fe feature in one of the later version of Virtual DJ, namely starting with Build seventy seven forty six.